Hello and welcome back to. It's a bit loud, isn't it? Uh. Huh. How do I do this? Set up. Is that a bit better? There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do this again. Hello and welcome back to the Aquanox Let's Play. Let me see. First thing to do, I think, is to talk to Freeman. I'm not gonna say this twice, Washout. Forget about El Taco's job. Oh, I'm scared. So who's scaring me? Me. Because right now I don't feel like going cold turkey on credits. So think of me as a heart surgeon without a scalpel. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'll tear your heart out of your chest with my bare hands if you steal a job from me. End of discussion. <laughs> so I think I can do the side mission now? So I'm going to try to do as many side missions as possible. But of course I could accidentally miss some. Our Neapolite hobby terrorist is on Synth Hall. Obviously a student of architecture. He constructively criticizes Dagama. He's honed in the sights on his weapon systems. Looks like he's getting ready to dance. And attack the marked target now. As you can see. <laughs> Um, his ship is filled with, um, videos, soft drinks, and manga. Oh, God. Our client is complaining about the ineffectiveness of his weapons against us. God damn it. Do I have any torpedoes? No, I don't. This is way too loud. That was way too loud. <laughs> um, gotta turn it down even more, it seems. Or maybe I should just turn my. Uh, there we go. Hopefully that's. Flint, I hear you're going into action. Because I'm saving your head again. Please deposit the usual credits in my account. Hey, how old are you? You just fell for one of the oldest tricks in the book. Somebody used you for their own ends and it wasn't me, Flint. And I only pay when I'm the one calling the yep. shots. Sorry. So, that guy tricked me. And he's not here. So, uh... Oh, wait, no, I've got to save first. <laughs> uh... There we go. Okay. Salam! Oh, my friend Flint, thanks and to see you. Salam to you too. What magic tricks do you have in your bag? Smart suits. This is too soft. Isolation, telescopic sight plans, neuroacoustic communicators, and finally put to lock in our dreams. Hey, since when do you sell technology? 
He used to sell high-end luxury stuff. Ooh, I have special high-pressure yeast as well, <laughs> with which you can bake delicious cakes. I have tattoos of shining luciferine pigments, holograms <laughs> from the clan's union, a nose spray that wraps your brain in Bengalese dreams, <laughs> creepy insects with cinnamon flavor, delicious living snacks. Uh, no kidding. You guys from the clan's union are really something else. Just tell me where you had trouble with the Bions. A plug! Much eating parasites. When I came here to McGillan, I passed the Bion scrapeyard. It was horrible. They are reorganizing. One of the germ cells must still have been alive. They chased me. I got away by the skin of my teeth. You must go there and clean house, brother. Scrapyards are my destiny. Okay, thanks. May the water around you always be clear and shiny. And may the women admire you like an Indian prince. May they give you relief. So, yeah. Jeez, Clint. I feel like I ain't bloody lead for breakfast. Mega. I ate this place. Wait for Jones. Credits. Ash. No more stupid fire. I hear they're having volcanic eruptions along the Mid Atlantic Ridge. Why don't you head over there and see if that's enough action for you? Oh, that hell. Who's gonna pay me for that? I need to get something in my torpedo science plan. Do I look like a senile geologist? Don't answer that. Listen, you want to study volcanoes in the Mid Atlantic Ridge? You talk to Pico. He's always got his face inside. Do, 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 do. Last I heard, he was at the Hoot to Die. It best do it. How do I get help? I don't know. So, next mission. I've got a call for help from a caterpillar driver at the scrapyard. There seems to be some kind of autonomous reorganization of rudimentary biont parts. They're coming back to life. We'll meet at the navigation point. From there, you will be his escort. So yeah, maybe I should explain what biots are. They're kind of like... They're kind of like a cross between the Tyranids and the Borg. Yeah, they're kind of like cybernetic Tyranids, pretty much. And that's a caterpillar. Oh, it's moving. Ah, uh, yeah, I should probably explain this. Um, the game that I had originally was very bugged, and well, well, I knew that some missions were bugged, but I didn't know this one was. I didn't know the caterpillar was supposed to move. That's interesting. I remember like the last mission was hit was really bugged in my game. Like, oh god. Let me see. Ah, there's another one. See, you can see them before they activate. I remember that. Where is it? All right, just want to get out of the caterpillar's way. Ah, there it is. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the other one? Ah. What is this 
caterpillar doing? Let's try to get the other one onto me. Maybe I should turn the difficulty off. Yep, activate Nipo. Just... A lot of bad experiences trying to continue that mission from when you need to... S uh... La la la. Oh, I'm at Vespucci now. Good, you're here. We're in a hurry. There's this new ELF rating transmitter. Extreme low frequency. They say the oscillations make them crazy and cause Parkinson's. I don't know. Look around for Spucci and talk to Terry. The new Terra's group is on. Everyone's more off of these days. Yeah, the citizens of Aqua are a bunch of ingrates. They crack at the first sign of the <laughs> I'll have to look around. Yay, credits. Whoops. I think I can buy a new ship now. Yeah, the Avenger. So... Yeah, that's it. Pretty much the gun. And I can't really buy anything else. <sighs> so, I'm looking for... who again? Oh, because I don't want to talk to him. Oh yeah, he's the guy that ripped me off. Can I buy anything else? I can buy a repair kit. Uh, no, nah, I'll just get the small block. And that'll be Can I get the hitman? Uh Let me see that's the truth now. No, but if I had bought the other ship, I probably would have had enough for the Hitman. Oh well. Anyway. Uh... Let's just talk. Light, Leone. I hope I'm not disturbing you. I think they seasoned the steak with Epsilon taste intensifier. It's making my neck tight and burning my nerves. Well, everything good has a price. Your friend Miriam said you could enlighten me about our ELF station. Ah, well, did you know that the station has an antenna 300 miles long with masses of amplifiers and neuroacoustic boosters? Well, uh, they just blah, blah, blah. Anyone who stays here a year will likely go completely insane. They use giant ELF antennas in the 21st century to change the ionosphere. They could look through the curvature of the Earth, change the weather, even detect underground bunkers and oil fields or submerged submarines. Of course, they also drove whole cities mad as hell. But then everything good has a price. I gotta. <sighs> I have heard some activists are getting together, and I wouldn't even be surprised if your ELF station was attacked soon. 
They'll pretend to fumble around with the relays, but in reality, they'll concentrate on the central radio station. That's where you need to be on your guard. I need to save and adjust the sound again. <laughs> I accidentally pressed exit, as you might have seen. Um, uh, whoops. <laughs> so, don't know who to talk to now. The people are right. ELF waves actually penetrate the globe, which is why they're so useful for underwater communications. The new tunnel system being built is even more dangerous. Its main antenna is 300 miles long, and off Canada, there's a station that makes the whole St. Lawrence Shield dance. If you're wondering what tunnel an ELF is doing to the human brains at that station, I'll tell you, it liquefies the substantia nigra. And without an implant, people die. This station here is just as dangerous. Oh, please, Terry. There's no clue. You're just panicking. They use ELF all over Aqua because it works. Ridiculous. We've got synaptic communication. It uses the sensory <laughs> receptors of a new breed of mega shark. They can recognize field oscillations up to five billions of a volt. Okay, you two. I'd like to join the scientific debate, but I'd rather chug synthahol in the white water and jelly up my brain. I could use some relaxation. Oh, Freeman. Wait a sec. So, we're gonna have an interesting conversation with Freeman now. Well, looky here. You're dead eye Flint. Or is it the next conversation that's interesting? Sit down. I'm Freeman. Funny name. Oh no. I didn't say that was my name. <laughs> so tell me, what kind of ship does a hot shot like you navigate? A borrowed Mine was stolen. That hurts. I bought a bomber on the black market myself. A real cool killer machine. Interesting. I'd like to see it. Believe me, I'd love to show it to you. But I just sent it to Atacama City on a jump ship. Quick, enough with the chatting. We're on alert. And I'm after the slime ball who stole my ship. Come on. A terror unit of the pirate scouts is attacking our ELF station. We can't afford I really just want to skip the conversations now, it's just like, I always did this as a kid as well, it's just like, you know, I'd go for a while listening to all of them, but then I just want to press enter, 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 and get on with the mission. Uh, hello, and I think I'm going to end this soon, so I'm just going to skip to everybody. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So we're just going to talk to these people and then end it. Okay. How's your aquarium tsunami? 
as long as you don't plan on being able to find a chill. Great. Make it a double. <laughs> the people are running. Oh, okay. And then Freeman. Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'll end it here. Uh, bye for now, everyone.